I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A robot is playing a leading role in a British stage production. Not a single critic has dared give it a bad review. According to a poll of U.S. adults, more than a third feel that the most frightening small creature is the snake, followed by rats, spiders, and cockroaches. And then divorce lawyers. Saudi Arabia unveiled its first-ever girls' council but didn't allow any girls at the event. <laughs> oh well, baby steps, right? Uh, boy babies, of course, but still. New research shows young people who become sleep-deprived by using the internet into the small hours are much more likely to become mentally ill later in life. Lack of sleep may help explain the puzzling increases in mental illness among young people in recent decades, and regularly staying up late to surf the internet and chat on social networking sites could be one reason young people are sleeping less, according to the research. The study of about 20,000 young people found that those who slept fewer than five hours a night were three times more likely to become psychologically distressed which explains the content of 86% of all late-night Twitter posts. Scientists are warning that the microfibers from our athletic wear are making their way to the ocean where they're harming sea life. And honestly, is there anything sadder than seeing a dolphin trapped in a pair of yoga pants? A new study finds that the brain continues to be active for several minutes after the body has been declared clinically dead. So there's something to look forward to in our final minutes. Yippee! He may be a convicted murderer, but that does not mean he has to be bald in prison, dagnabbit! In New Zealand, Philip John Smith's hairpiece was taken away when authorities recaptured him after he fled the country, using the toupee as part of his disguise. But he argued that his toupee was an artwork essential to his self-esteem and a high court judge in Auckland agreed, ruling that his fundamental right to freedom of expression was ignored. Well, Smith is serving a life sentence for murdering the father of a boy he had previously sexually abused. He also has a string of other convictions, including extortion, aggravated robbery, and sexual offenses. But he'll get to wear his toupee in prison. Oh, happy day. The Secret Service revealed that it took a full 17 minutes the other day to catch that White House intruder. There's a picture of him making himself comfortable in the Oval Office with his feet tucked under him on the couch. According to a recent study, men have to work harder deciphering what women are saying because they use the auditory part of the brain that processes music, not human voices. It's not the pitch of the woman's voice, but rather the vibration and number of sound waves that cause the problem. At least I think that's what my wife told me. You know, honestly, I wasn't really listening. Cheech Marin has written a new memoir. Seriously, who would think that he would be able to remember enough to write a book? It's no secret Americans are drinking less soda. Now that trend is starting to take its toll on the restaurant industry. A recent report by the NPD Group found that over the past five years, Americans ordered 4% fewer beverages at restaurants, a whopping 2 billion fewer servings. Well, you know, if Pepsi wants to start sending me free cans on a daily basis, I'll be happy to try and pick up the slack on that. The State Department is warning U.S. students about the dangers of spring break travel to Mexico. This warning has been brought to you by the State of Florida Tourism Office. Don't overcook your French fries and toast. A new study by UK's Food Standards Agency measured the amount of acrylamide, a cancer-causing toxin, in roasted potatoes, fries, and toast prepared in the home. The FSA's chief scientific advisor said the new research showed the need for roast potatoes and fries to be cooked to only a light golden color and that bread should be toasted to the lightest color acceptable. In fact, rather than use a toaster for your bread, they suggest boiling it. In China, 43-year-old Song Tao has been busy lifting 22 pounds worth of water buckets using only his eyelids. He's been performing the very impressive and extremely painful-looking stunt for the last 26 years, and he's credited with founding the art of eyelid bucket lifting. 
Song explains, I met a teacher who passed on the bucket lifting skill. I slept with the buttons on my eyes for half a year, then I was able to perform on stage. He uses a homemade contraption which is made of two buttons, some string, and two metal hooks. He squeezes the big buttons under his eyelids on top of his eyeballs and attaches the other end to the string of the bucket handles. Now, if it makes you feel better, he does sterilize the buttons before every performance to prevent an eye infection. No, yeah, that, that doesn't make me feel better either. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. This episode's made possible in part by my Patreon supporters. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar.